Hey guys, I'm Dr. Mona Gohara, a dermatologist in New Haven, Connecticut. Welcome back to another great episode of Dear Derm. Today we're talking about what seems to be the most confusing skin type ever, combination skin. Major spoiler alert, it's just not that hard to figure out. We don't all fit perfectly into one skin type bucket. That's why combination skin is the perfect descriptor for most of us. Some people sway more towards the oilier side, others are more dry, but in general, we all have patches of oily skin in some places and dry skin in others. We have more oil glands or sebaceous glands in some parts of our face, and those are the parts that you may see get more shiny throughout the day, and then in other parts, we have less sebaceous glands and less oil production, and those are the places that are gonna be a bit more dry and require a little bit more love. So what is sebum and what is sebum production? There are little glands in our skin called sebaceous glands that are kind of on autopilot, and they just, on their own terms, produce oil. So how do you take care of combination skin? To cleanse, Anybody and everybody can benefit from a gentle, non-soap cleanser to clean their face throughout the day. The second thing, and the second most common question is, how do I exfoliate combination skin? I personally like to use an alpha hydroxy acid, either a gentle cleanser in the shower, where I actually control the amount of product I put on different parts of my face. For example, in my T-zone, I may use a little bit more. Otherwise, on the middle of my face or on my cheeks where I have a tendency to get pretty dry, particularly for my retinol use, I'll use a lot less, about half of what I would use in my T-zone. And then lastly, moisturization. How in the world do I moisturize when half of my skin is oily and the other half of my skin is dry? Think of it this way. You use lipstick on your lips and eyeshadow on your eyes, right? So why can't you use a heavier cream on the drier parts of your skin and a lighter lotion on the parts that produce a little bit more oil. And I completely understand that costs and resources can be an issue, so if you have combination skin and you're choosing between a lotion and a cream, I would definitely stick with the lotion. Lotions will hydrate your skin one way or another, but you don't wanna overhydrate with a heavier cream. And if you're sticking with a lotion and you just have one product, just put more lotion in your drier parts and less in your oily parts. I personally love, I've talked about it before, the Dove Beauty Bar. It is great for your skin barrier. It's not gonna create too much oil. It's not gonna dry you out. It's a gentle non-soap cleanser and it deposits moisture into your skin. So that's a perfect place to start. So what I recommend for exfoliating, um, I love the Sente Alpha Hydroxy Acid Wash. I use that a couple times a week. Some of you may prefer a pad uh, for the eco-conscious. I completely get that. There are a lot of options for alpha hydroxy acids, but the pad is great because, again, you can kind of control the pressure and how much you put on different parts of your face. Here are some moisturizers that have great ingredients for combination skin. Glossier. Waleda, and Pi is a fantastic light lotion. To me, combination skin is the most ubiquitous skin type. We all definitely have it to some degree. It's just a matter of getting in the habit of remembering to give some parts of your skin a little bit more love and other parts of your skin a little bit less love, but most importantly, to appreciate your skin's own unique biology. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dear Derm. And you know what the best combo is? You and Well and Good's YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Write any questions below. See you later.